that Stefan Roncata just did in the 125s after he swept Bud's Creek. We're right with Ricky Carmichael here on the left. Carmichael, good start. But as David Villeman on the Yamaha gets the hole shot. Villeman's first hole shot of the year. Ricky Carmichael in second place. The red bike team Honda number 14. Kevin Windham fighting for third. Gets into third place. Tortelli also a good clean start. Right there behind Ferry. Look at the way these guys whip the bike sideways as they go off that ski jump. That made me a little nervous about sitting around fifth or sixth. A little mistake there. Didn't cost anybody any time. But the clutch in South but killed him. That look back to Carmichael. I wonder if he picked that up from RC a couple of weeks ago. It's head games. A little bit of showing off. A little bit of, hey, what are you doing back there? You know, but we'll see. I mean, you just don't want to do that stuff when you got a fiery little guy like Carmichael behind you that just will do anything he can to win. Ah, uh, the redhead is on the move against David Villeman. Ricky Carmichael putting the pressure. The 250 Moto number one. Ricky Carmichael looking for opportunity against 934 on the team Yamaha. Carmichael has the inside. Can he make it stick? Carmichael makes the pass into the lead. Uh, heading up into that right turn. I didn't really see a mistake from Villeman. It was just that Carmichael went that much faster. So he wants to get into the lead and just dis disappear from these guys. Tally a little nervous. He's got to stay close. Kevin doesn't even matter. Villeman doesn't even matter to Tortelli. It's Carmichael he wants. And he's got to get past these guys now to have a chance at it. Tortelli is so good in cutting up through the field. Yeah, we could go off and... Say, well, oh, a little mistake there by Kevin. And here comes Tortelli in the good position to take advantage of it. That was so smart. It was a great decision for him to go wide in that burn. He had both Villeman and his teammate taking that inside burn. So there really wasn't anything to gain by him going in there and following. He didn't have anybody pressuring him so he could take that chance, and it paid off. Tortelli really stepping it up now. Track starting to get a lot more ruts now. Michael. Trying to hold on to the points lead here from the first moto with David Villeman in second. And Rookie looked back there coming out of that corner, and he wasn't looking back at Villeman. He was looking back to see where Tortelli is, I believe. RC running smooth out in front right now. Let's go to the pit area. Davey Combs is making his way over to Ricky Carmichael's mechanic. Chad, it looks like another lightning fast start for Ricky. That momentum from that 1-1 one -one at Bud's Creek carries over here at Red Bud. Yeah, he's got a good start. He's riding a good pace right now. But the main four guys are all first through four, so there's no play time in this moto. I saw Sebastian Tortelli's mechanic, Shane Drew, already wrote pass now on Sebastian's board. This is only the third lap. Yeah, I mean, if those two guys in second, third would get called up to each other, they might lose a little bit of time. But uh, Tortelli's definitely got a good pace going right now. Right behind him. He's in his draft. Some places around the track, just to stay close enough to have an opportunity in another place, you've got to stay right in the line. But here you see different lines. Sebastian Tortelli on the rear tire of David Villeman is the. Here comes Tortelli in the second place. And a little bit different timing through there. He actually bounces over the, one of those big bumps. And a weird section today for the riders to try to figure out. There's no smooth way. He just got a muscle through there. But Tortelli really bothering Villeman all the way up over the rock. He's gaining on Carmichael. Going by the mechanics area now. Shane Drew. What's on the board? He's three seconds back. That's nothing to Tortelli. Here for the next one. Carmichael down the hill, looks back to see where Tortelli might be. Hits the rut. Absolutely perfect. Carmichael has been flawless so far, but I just don't know if his pace is fast enough. Look at Tortelli. Forget about that three seconds. It's on. It's down to at least a second right now and closing rapidly. A down lapper trying to stay out of the way. It's on now, though, Art, because that first round at Glen Helen when Tortelli kept the pressure on and Carmichael didn't crack, he knows that now. He knows he's really got to apply the pressure hard. He knows that Carmichael will come back like last week and run into him if he has to to get the win. Chad Watts looking on anxiously now. There's Tortelli, number 21, getting by a lapper. Oh, this is going to be a great one. It's a dilly. 
right now with Ricky Carmichael trying to hold off the charge of number 21, Team Honda's Sebastian Tortelli. Tortelli is determined, though, to make a move against Carmichael. He's able to take different lines everywhere, as you see right there. He's got Carmichael nervous, looking over his shoulder. Oh, the fans are going crazy here at Redbot. To the inside, Tortelli. Acceleration of Carmichael, though, holds him off for one more turn. Here's Tortelli to the outside. Inside, outside, Tortelli takes the lead. Beautiful pass. Clean move on the outside where he would least expect it, right in front of Ricky's mechanic. This will make that kind of rub in a little bit more. He's able to go to the outside right there, too, over the double jump. So now Ricky thought Sebastian might try to square under him, so he got on the brakes a little extra. Sebastian guessed right, went to the outside, which would put him on the inside coming into this next corner. That's right back in front of the line of Ricky, so he has no chance to come back. Back on the last lap, he repass Sebastian Tortelli for the victory. I believe right now Sebastian is on a roll. He's going to try to take this next couple of laps and just ruin the spirit of Ricky. Oh, the battle continues. Let's get out of Davy in the pits. Shane, it turns out he didn't have to get too aggressive. He just went around him. He just motored by him, but now he's got to stay ahead of him. We saw what happened last race, so he's got to get a bigger lead than what he's got right now. An overall victory so far this year. He had one last year, and that was the opening round at Glen Helen. You don't see that much celebrating from Sebastian, but he got a little thumbs up right there over the jump. He's, this is an emotional win for him. He wanted it bad. And the checkers are waving. Sebastian Tortelli. Tell us about the pass on Carmichael for the lead. You know, I went uh, pretty hard in the, in the corner just before. On, uh, he's outside, and he didn't see coming. And uh, I just got his hit a little bit harder on the on the, on the the first corner. And, uh, you know, I went by the outside. I think he was surprised. He was not waiting for me there. So that was a great pass for me. You know, I was a tiny bit faster than him. So I just, you know, did a small hole in a um, couple laps. And uh, that was enough to win. You know, I didn't do the same mistake as uh, two weeks ago. You know, I learned pretty quick. And uh, I learned that one pretty bad. and. Um, I'm pissed about it, so uh, hopefully you know, that won't happen anymore this year or any way in my racing career. Ricky, that moto looked a lot like Bud's Creek. You led for a long time, and then Sebastian got you at the end, but this time he held you off. Yeah, he did. Uh, I don't know what happened. He was riding good, and uh, I thought I was riding the same pace, and I had a little lead on him, and then all of a sudden I looked back, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, he was past Beelman, and I'm right on my tail. Uh, I didn't get any help from the lappers out there, but uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, he was riding a strong race, and I need to do something. Ricky Carmichael came into Red Bud with this four-point lead over Sebastian.